hello everyone welcome back to my channel jp khasi tech so if you are new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe now let's start the project first of all open xml file and then let's design some objects so first i'm going to use the text view and then the button so text view you can see here is the text view so i'm going to modify this let me change the name instead of hello world i'm going to use now let me increase the text size so that you can see i'm going to use 50 sp let me give the text bold. Next, I'm going to use the text color black. Control L to rearrange the code. Now, I'm going to use the ID also TV just for simplicity. Now, one more thing I need, which is the button. Copy this one and then paste here. Now instead of text view, type button. Next, change the ID also. Button underscore start. Also, text. Next, I'm going to give margin top 30 dp. Okay, the XML has been finished. Now let's go to the Java. First of all, let's define the variable here. So, first, I'm going to go with the text view private x view variable i'm going to use tb just for simplicity next i'm going to need for the button so also private button and variable i'm going to use button start close it one more thing i need which is the integer itself int and integer is just a score close it now let's initialize the object here first take the variable of text view tb equal find view by id r dot id dot and then the id of the text view is tv close it next for the button take the variable first button start equal to find view by id r dot id dot and then the id of the button is button start close it now let's set the click listener for the button now take the variable of the button again. Now call dot set on click listener. Inside the parameter give new view and then select on click listener. Now you can see this is the on click listener for the button. Now whenever the button is click, I want that the value must be animated in the text view. Okay. So for that purpose, I'm going to use the value animator. Value animator give any variable equal value animator of integer type remember this one copy and then paste here comma and then paste again now whenever the button is clicked the value must be increased by some number so i'm going to set the number here plus equal increase by 12 close it so what happened here whenever the button is clicked the value in the text view will be increased by 12 each time it is clicked okay now set update listener for the animator so copy this variable and then paste here now call dot add update listener inside the parameter call new value animator and then select this one value animator dot animator update listener okay now you come here now take a variable of text view, set text and copy this one and then paste here inside the parameter and then call dot get animated value dot to string. Okay, control L L to rearrange. Now you can see here is straight line because we have to make this value as final. So type here final. Next just start this value, call anim variable dot start. Okay, control L, L to rearrange. Now let's go back to the XML file and let's just increase the text size a little bit so it will look a little bigger. So I'm going to give 60 SP and then also for the button, I'm going to use 60 SP. Okay, now let's run the project and see. Okay, guys, the app has learned successfully. Now let's just test it. Click start. Now let's click again. Okay, now it's 24, which means it is increased by 12 each time the button is clicked. You can see here the method 
this will increase the value each time the button is clicked okay now let's just click one more 36 it's working perfectly guys only this for today thank you so much for watching